Well, hello there and welcome to a new Victorator video. My name is Eru and today, inspired by one of my favorite uh, Grand Strategy Games YouTubers, Takui, I've decided to take upon the challenge of playing as Heiri. For the settings, we're gonna go on and enable Iron Man because this is the main way for me to find entertainment in this game. I feel like being punished by uh, my incompetence is uh, quite fun and it motivates me uh, to strive and get better at this game. A aggression is set up to high and will run out almost investment pool. Haiti starts off as uh, two state nation, uh, one of which uh, is not incorporated, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we also have uh, quite a funny event where uh, apparently we are paying the French 4,000 uh, pounds per month and we have the ability to cancel it, but this will deteriorate our relations with them by 70. So we'll go ahead and do that since we are aspiring to become a great power ourselves. And uh, oh wow, they are belligerent. I think we could say they are kind of hating us right now. <clears throat> okay, I, I, I'm I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. One. And we'll start on by improving with Great Britain since uh, one of the greatest uh, and easiest ways to snowball in the game is to befriend Great Britain, right? It's after all the game is named after uh, the um, leader of the British uh, Kingdom. Okay, uh, we'll go on and start uh, queuing up a construction sector and we would like to get also some logging games. Maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll do four for start. Uh, as per our technology, we don't have any mining, but uh, I want to get uh, that technology in order to start uh, building railways. Railways is very important in our state. We have really uh, bad infrastructure and uh, it's a way of uh, being able to build tall. Eventually, I plan on expanding in the whole of Caribbeans. I plan on taking Cuba, taking uh, uh, this Bahamas Islands, maybe even... Uh, uh, Bermuda and the West Indies, which is split between France and uh, Great Britain, which <laughs> which will be quite hard. Uh, maybe why not? I want to take uh, parts of Central America and all this area too. Maybe the whole of South um, America will be nice. And uh, this is our bread and butter. Since uh, our culture is, um, if I'm mistaken, Afrontilian, uh, we have African heritage, which means we can integrate the the African territories quite fast. Uh, I think it's five years, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll be going ahead and go for uh, some colonialism. But first, let's see what kind of government we have. We have really bad uh, legitimacy. Uh, our landowner is a democrat, which is very very nice, honestly. Uh, Jingo is Catholic Church, and we'll uh, we have a presidential republic. Our legislation is one of the best in the game. Uh, I feel like, uh, probably not as good as uh, the USA, I really don't like the censorship considering the fact our technology is not necessarily the best, um, we have to get rid of this uh, eventually, and the best uh, way to do that is, wait, there is no way, okay, the armed forces don't really like this, but their power is really small, like 8.5, if we manage to pass census suffrage as our first law, that would be absolutely magnificent uh we'll install some decrees here social mobility uh, road maintenance uh that should be nice no industry yet since we ba basically we have no industry so there is nothing to boost uh for the taxes we're gonna lower it a bit and there's no point in adding consumption taxes considering the fact uh we don't really have any um pops to tax to begin with wait a second I can't even get to drink my coffee that France attacks us. We're in a bit of a pickle, but hopefully our uh, <laughs> Lord and Savior Great Britain can uh, give us a helping hand. Um, okay, since this happened, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a declared interest in the uh, Gran Colombia area. Uh, because if we managed to be successful in this war, and by we, I mean Great Britain, I would like to take this land, I would like to take uh, the French Guyana, and maybe, why not the French West Indies? Because, uh, with this, we'll be uh, able, later on, to trade one of our... Uh, we'll be able to trade this with the Brits, in order to get, I don't know, maybe Jamaica, or some uh, some stuff in, in Africa, why not? So, yeah, we'll go ahead and play this out. Mm, I won't add any war goals until uh, maybe I should add war reparations. Yeah, we, 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 we'll, we'll do that. 
I want warps for sure. That's gonna definitely boost our economy for early game. And Britain, we could sway them with an obliga obligation, which is good, or we could become their um, protectorate. Basically, the obligation would be nice because we are not under the Brits. Uh, I feel like we can join their. Um, wait, are they in war at war with the Qing? Not yet. British response. Okay, maybe we can get them in the war before they go after uh, Qing. Because if that happens, then uh, we are in a bit of a pickle. We can't afford Britain to be split on uh, two fronts. So basically, if France naval invades my uh, my territory, I'm 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 done. If I go for obligation, but if I'm their protectorate, then. I won't be able to capitulate and I want to add the conquer state. I hope I will still be able to, yeah, I, I should be able to add more demands when I get the yeah French Guyana. Can you do more? I don't really want more. I just want these two uh, territories and I want the war to be over as soon as possible. We have the bridge with us. Hopefully we pass census suffrage as well. And I would like to also improve with uh, the Americans, maybe with France too. Okay, we can't yet, but we can declare some rivalries. I only will do one since I'm not planning on uh, uh, keeping too much uh, infamy, right? I, I won't be able to expand as aggressively as with other countries. I could raise my army, but I don't really see the point of it. I like I, I could do it to fight off the naval, naval invasion, I guess. But most of the time I will rely on the Brits to do all the work, so... What, what, what's the point really? Maybe they can send some ships and prevent them. I, I, I want to have as strong as a company as possible and if they are attacking my uh, my land then they will probably just take it anyway even if I have uh, 6 or... Uh, eventually after enlistment efforts I could get like 25 uh, battalions but that's not necessary. We have uh, we have Britain with us. Right Britain? You are gonna, you are gonna protect us. The landowners petition government. They would like to have landed voting. Well, I don't want landed voting. We're getting census suffrage. Uh, what happens if we deny it? 557 will go to 52. And they will dislike it. Uh, I mean, they really like the fact we're doing uh, census suffrage. So I'm not really sure why they would want that. But yeah. Okay, let's go Britain. You can do it. I mean, we can do it. We, we can do it. Hopefully they won't manage to get uh, invaded. Nice, 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 nice. There is a lot of uh, fighting going on in the Indies. Uh, I feel like Britain should be victorious. They have way more troops than the French, right? The manpower is... Uh... We have managed to pass census average. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, the government will change a bit. I would like to get... The Catholic Church in, uh, in power and start uh, passing the colonial affairs as soon as possible. Who will dislike this, the rural folk? Well, hopefully they won't uh, make a revolution too fast. This will help us get like really good legitimacy as soon as possible, as soon as the election finishes. Okay, we lost our front in the West Indies. Apparently the French were victorious, which is uh, not great news. Hopefully the Brits will be able, since we have naval superiority, hopefully the Brits will be able to um we'll go ahead and select this one um to re-invade this uh, these areas like it, it shouldn't be too hard for them right yeah the the brits are hard uh, hard winning the the naval fights but we can't quite land in uh in their country okay we we managed to capture the french guy now we already did a good landing so we should be getting ticking war score, correct? If I'm not mistaken. War support, 60% uh, enemy control over war goals. Well, hopefully the Britain will be able. Yeah, they are looking. Uh, they are looking to invade the West Indies as well. And we're getting only good events on the uh, on the laws, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. I think as soon as we get control over the Indies, yeah, French is already. <laughs> they are already looking in the negative, so. Uh, I think we should queue up a bunch of construction sectors. Uh, considering the fact we'll be <laughs> we'll be getting a lot of money from the French for uh, war reparations, so let's do that.
All right, we can go ahead and uh, select the. All right, we can go ahead and uh, end the the war. We can get French war reparations, the French West Indies, and the French Guyana as a bonus. So we'll... it's all about the money. Plus of uh, of coin, we have to be looking to use. And as a bonus, we are part of the British market. Considering where they're protectorate now and they are still protective with us uh, I would like to start improving with France because since we want to expand in um, In the West uh, Africa, uh, I wouldn't want them to interfere on every expansion attempt And of course the Brits um, They really like their uh, groceries. So we'll be looking um, Towards granting them as many groceries as possible, but we need to pay attention to um to our infrastructure eventually maybe we can get more uh, ports that will get us uh, another 20 infrastructure it will cost us some but um the price we pay for uh, industrialization right we're gonna go ahead and integrate uh, the new land we acquire and uh, maybe just integrate as well the west indies 21 we are barely positive on the on the thing and since we have land in the grand colombia area now we can set up a new uh, interest in uh, in this area uh, i would like to colonize uh, igbo land as soon as possible because they have a lot of peasants and it will be a really easy way for me to um, access benin benin is one uh, very important state because they have a lot of pops and they will allow me to build stuff like iron mines, coal mines, and basically just get the resources resources I need in order to uh, develop without Britain later on, since we'll have to fight them for Jamaica and um, maybe even this area. I, I, I would like to have the whole of Guyana for myself at this point. Great Britain is also bankrolling us. Man, we, we have to get those construction sectors going as soon as possible. I'm... I'm... I'm not I'm not sure what how you could call this one like I'm I'm getting so much money I don't know how to spend it we can go ahead and uh, do our first colony uh, like I said uh, we'll do it in uh, Igbo the nether the Dutch they are uh, already here which might be an issue considering the fact they colonize way faster but I will rather have the Dutch colonize this area with me than the Brits since the Dutch are way easier to defeat in uh, in combat later on so we'll go ahead and select uh, our colony uh they placed it in a really bad spot but currently uh, in the current game state you can do this and basically move your uh, colony uh i would like to have a border with benin honestly one eternity later and we finally got it we have a border with uh, our friends uh benin uh the next step we'll do is select our army and Station them in the in the HQ. We'll also like to retire some of these uh, uh, people because hmm, yeah, I, I I'll retire them. I will also like I would like a defensive guy, but we have none. We we'll get this guy. Hmm, we still don't get any defensive guy. We we'll retire him as well. We we'll set this guy to uh, defend front, and I think we can start our war against uh, Benin as soon as our army gets there. Okay, our army will get there in uh, 29 days, so we can already look towards uh, starting up the war since there will be a diplomatic play. Uh, it looks like no one will join against us. Maybe Egypt, that could be an issue. If Egypt joins against us, that could be an issue. But I'm I'm willing to, to risk it out. Even if uh, even if they manage to be successful in the war, since we're playing Iron Man, there is no like reloading or... Uh, any way of uh, denying it even if they will manage to win the war i could still retry it in five years and basically if they don't then i get a free state like i will only lose my colony right so let's go ahead and go for it britain would like to join me hmm they would like a state <laughs> no 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 actually i we could do that we could do that what if we could get an interest in Egypt? Nah, I don't want to like expand everywhere. I would like I would like to keep my territory compact. So we'll have this here. We'll have the South America and we'll have the the islands there, uh, the Caribbeans. All right, we're gonna go here and start enabling some of this stuff in order to get uh, more bonuses. 
Uh, this will cost us quite some money, but we are in the British uh, market, so it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna mobilize them, and I wanna go to the capital and do an enlistment effort in order to get more um, more army for uh, like more recruitable army. We're gonna also raise the conscripts. We need to get them uh, ready as soon as possible. Uh, maybe we could have done that a bit faster. There is no extra war goal to add. And we should win this uh, one on one because uh, basically they st they are still on irregulars, right? Ho hopefully, okay. They are still on irregulars. We are on line infantry, and we'll also get uh, skirmish infantry uh, eventually, considering we are in the British market. As soon as we research it, uh, this um, this technology is way better though because we we really need it. Like we really really need it. Uh, eventually, I would like to build all my. Uh, construction sector will stick with those maybe even uh, destroy them we, we should destroy some of them and as soon as i integrate benin and uh, lower the radicalization i would like to have them um, as my main industrial sector like I, I want to build all my construction sector here because uh, it has both iron mines and logging camps and um, the other territory like uh, other uh, thing, cotton plantations uh for the next law, we could go for um, maybe some education, that would be nice. Or since we plan on expanding really hard, I would like to get a dedicated police force. Uh, regarding the economic system, we'll stick on interventionists because um, I really dislike the AI's ability to use the autonomous queue. They build uh, fine art everywhere, literally everywhere. So interventionists will give us some control. Eventually, we're going to opt in towards going for uh maybe command economy that will be actually great for us uh this is 50 50 so right yeah we'll, we'll stick to interventionism it's less uh, investment pool but uh it's not the end of the world i would say okay we need to recruit <laughs> our cons conscripts a bit faster uh this doesn't look great maybe if we I could build a port here, but since I'm planning on taking this, they have a port, so it will be wasteful uh, resources. I'm looking for another military guy, maybe a defensive guy. But I don't want to radicalize the landowners or anything. Okay, we'll uh, retire these guys. We got a defensive strategy, and he's also charismatic. Let's go. We'll put him on Adam and defense. I will keep this guy since he's... Uh, Offensive planner, right? So he will get experience and he will be like really good at pushing uh, later on We'll also set our military to max wages All right, this is not looking good for us This is not looking good, but I think we'll, we'll win it we have way superior army, like it's not a big surprise. We will win it because we have uh, way better um, way better troops. We'll go for this. Uh, the AI generally tends on attacking every time they have uh, advantage. So I let them attack a few times and once their uh, manpower is depleted, I can uh, go ahead and uh, just start pushing with my offensive guy. Alright guys, the channel is uh, barely starting, so if you would like uh, to support me and would like more kind of uh, content like this, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment with what country you would like to see me play next. I'm also very hyped for the uh, new DLC that's gonna drop next month, if I'm not mistaken, so I really want to do a lot of uh, new content for, for this game, I really love this game. Alright, so they're not pushing anymore. Which means we'll put this guy, um, we'll go ahead and put this guy uh, on a push stand. Um, uh, the reason we are doing pillage instead of uh, advanced front is that pillage has uh, more kill rate. So even though you push slower, uh, it's easier for you to... Um, it's easier for you to win this kind of uh, attrition wars against uh, countries like this one. Okay, we, we conquer the land, we can just uh, demobilize our army. This should help a, a bit, I guess. It helps a bit. Uh, there is no reason for you to keep the, the army on. Uh, I would also like to station them permanently here, considering uh, the fact I'm planning on uh, going for another war as soon as possible. Uh, we're gonna conquer Benin. 
Yes, go back, sir. Thank you. I could increase this. Yeah, we are uh, wearing a positive now. You can't afford going for. Uh, you can't afford going for a lot of interest while running interventionism. Uh, the less affair is way more permissive with it. You have less loan interest rate and you can bounce back. But if you go down um, and you don't get rescued by Britain or something, you ha you'll have to declare declare bankruptcy, and that's quite uh, not fun thing to do. I guarantee you. Right, Great Britain will join me. No one else will join them. Maybe Egypt will join them. But the worst, uh, like, in, in the worst case, we can always give West Indies to the Brits to join us. We'll go ahead and uh, ask the Brits to to join a war, because often, very often they interfere, and I would like them to uh, not. We'll offer them an obligation because I want to keep the states in order to uh, bait them, I mean, uh, <clears throat> convince them into joining on my side into uh, more important wars. And we managed to uh, integrate uh, Oyo in our uh, great nation as well. well. We are still running in the positives. I would like to get the dedicated police force and then go for maybe something like uh, education system. I still need government buildings. I need more government buildings. More. We always need more. We'll go for five for now. I can go ahead and... Uh, Cancel this law and go for uh, freedom of conscience. Considering there is like this uh, great support for the movement, it has a uh, really high uh, success of passing. Uh, there is no way of putting. Uh, maybe they want. Yeah, we can put them in. Does this increase it? No. Uh, let's look. Intelligentsia wants it. Intelligentsia is actually quite strong, but I'm. Yeah, it kind of cracks uh, our government. We could do it like this. L let's do it like this. It's above 50, so. We won't have only, only any malice, so that's that's good for us. I want the intelligentsia in because they're gonna be able to help us pass uh, citizenship law. I want to go for this in order to make uh, pretty much every culture accepted. There is no point in having us uh, increase the number of construction sectors. It only it will only crack our economy. So, and I I also want to go for less affair to get access to a company because a company is really really OP. But uh, yeah, I I don't trust the AI to to fully control my economy. So we'll go we'll we'll keep going on interventionism. We managed to pass freedom of conscience, so we can go ahead and set up the new government uh, and go for this. I'm gonna go with uh, with Borgu first. Minus 91, minus 77. They are more inclined to join against me if I go for uh, Borgo. So we will go for the homie first. Good to know that they will still join me for West Indies and Haitian Guyana. So that's very nice. I think we're gonna constantly look for expansion whenever Britain is at war, so they don't join against us. Our food industry is not necessarily hiring too, much, too many people. I'm not sure why they are quite productive. Uh, maybe it's because this is expensive and this is expensive. So let's go ahead and build 10 of these and 9 of these. Actually, it should be 20 of these, but we're gonna go ahead and build some agricultural... Uh, stuff in order to boost the profitability of uh, of the food industries. I would also like to put a green grass campaign. It's very important. Uh, and as soon as we pass this, we're going to get a lot of mig migration. Like I said, I plan on developing this uh, territory as the core one. The only issue being we're already running out of infrastructure. So before all that, I should get four ports in order to uh, increase the infrastructure and being able to to build that kind of stuff we still need mechanical tools and railways in order to fix that fully so let's just look uh, let's not do 10 let's do 5 and 5 and we're gonna reduce a bit of this too so basically we're gonna get 15 extra um, infrastructure and hopefully that will uh, last until uh, we end up uh, researching the railways right guys uh, apparently the french are not sponsoring us anymore so 
<laughs> We're gonna have to go ahead and take some drastic measures which uh, pretty much involves us uh, deleting some of uh, the construction sectors in order to regain profitability. Like I said, you can't uh, you, you can't exaggerate uh, in early game. If you go in depth as interventionism, you're gonna uh, totally ruin your economy. But it's not an issue once we start integrating these states fully. It's 76 on Benin. We're gonna get a lot of uh, money through taxation. So uh, there is that. Can we annex these guys? Yeah, we can. Let's go. We can integrate them as well. And I could look towards start uh, building a fleet. If I get a fleet, I can easily go ahead and take over Venezuela. There's a 1% chance we pass racial segregation. Hmm. Okay, Britain is getting involved in quite a big war. Uh, there is a war for... Uh, it's, again, it's Russia against... Uh, the Ottoman Empire and they want the Dobroja Treaty Port. I don't know why not just take the full state. Um, apparently Britain is joining the Ottomans, so are the French. So this is so big that it it makes me want to go for more here. Uh, obviously I can't go for Sokoto since they are too strong for me to take on of, on my own, even though I could get a lot of uh, uh, enlistment army. The economy doesn't allow us to do it right now. Uh, I want to get this state uh, and I could also go for uh, Ashanti. Ashanti has 50 troops. This guy has um, 6. So <laughs> I guess uh, I guess the mathematics on this one uh, are in our favor. I'm gonna look to fully annex them. We can go ahead and declare another interest. We're gonna put it in uh, Senegal because I wanna go for Ashanti as soon as I finish this one. Because uh, Britain is gonna be uh, uh, in this war for quite some time. I also want this uh, Bonapartist revolt to be successful because it will be allowing me to refresh my uh, my relations with uh, with the French. They are conciliatory now. Well, I still hope you lose, uh, sir. And uh, I will start improving with uh, these guys. Can I? Okay, another failure on this one. I really have to pass this law. If I if I don't pass it, it's gonna de massively uh, delay our uh, our growth. Alright, apparently we failed on passing the the RS. So can we go for maybe cultural exclusion? The Catholic Church won't like it. But we'll have to integrate the intelligentsia in the government again, so let's look for a way to do that. This won't work. This will work. Alright, so let's just do it this way, I guess. The Catholic Church will go minus 6. Okay, that's that's fine. They, will, uh, they won't uh, start the revolution. So. Nice. Now, Dahomey is already at 20%. We have the full state. We can start integrating the house Haussalland as well. And this name looks a bit funny, no? Like the T in between the eyes. It looks a bit weird. Um, let's see, Britain still at war with, uh, with the Ottomans. I could go for Ashanti. I could colonize a bit of it, but I could also just go for uh, for uh, the fight. Britain won't join me. Why? To support no no a recognized power against a recognized power. So is Ashanti recognized? Or am I? I mean, I'm an ins insignificant power. Hmm. Well, at least they won't join against me, but there is a chance the, the Spanish will. If the Spanish joins against me, then <laughs> that's very bad news. But it could also be a way for us to take over Cuba. The problem, the problem is this, is the fact that I don't have a navy yet, but I'm planning on building it. So for the next step, we're going to go ahead and create a navy, create a fleet. We're gonna put it here, and of course we're gonna select the best. I mean, actually, this guy is intelligence, so we're gonna go for it. And we're gonna build, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. I think five is fine. We're gonna finish sport first. I want five naval bases in order to be able to land. Uh, how many do they have? Fourteen. Okay, fourteen troops with uh, zero. They have uh, zero. What's it called? Zero ships. 
Well, if this one passes, I won't be that upset about the fact that the, the other one failed. Okay, what I could do instead of going for um, instead of going for a conquer uh, claim, I could go for a ban uh, uh, war in order to have uh, lower chances of them joining against me. I think this is like uh, the greatest and easiest way to to obtain what uh, what I want. Is there any defensive guy? Mm, not really. We're gonna put this guy on defend though. Um, mobilize him because I really want to get some uh, some conscripts in this war. We'll go ahead and get like 10 of these and 5 of these. I don't really need any cavalry. 36 of them should be more than enough. We are also gonna raise taxes. I don't want to go on extra. Can we raise them? Nope, not if we want to pass the law. This war might drain a bit of on uh, on our economy. I'm gonna reduce this since uh, there uh, <laughs> we have quite a, quite a large amount of uh, government pops we are paying salaries to. Okay, the Brits will join me. That's good to know. Hopefully they won't join them. Minus 115, minus 100. I will add the uh, I will add the territories. <laughs> this war is something like oh we would like to ban this, but we'll also take all of your land. But that stuff is banned. All right, we'll go ahead and add Ghana, and uh, we can't add Togo. I mean, we, we wait. I think this is uh, no bueno. I think this is bad. I can't annex all of it. And now I'm gonna have a state since we are taking Ghana. I'm gonna take a state I won't have access to unless I fight maybe Denmark. I could fight Denmark. Or I could fight the Dutch for uh, this to get a port. This is quite uh, this is quite unfortunate. I thought I can fully annex them. Hmm. But like I said, this is Iron Man, so just it, it is what it is, right? Can I get maybe some war reps? Uh, I guess I can. Maybe they can back down. And I will only... Nah, I don't want them to back down. I will add this to primary as well. I need to find a way to get gain access to the... To the... Actually, I do have access. We have uh, this uh, British uh, area. And we're uh, in their market, so... Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see how the front line is going. I should maybe pay them more. Yeah, we will pay them more. Hopefully they... They will manage to turn that around. It doesn't look good for us. It really doesn't. What do they want? They want war reps. Well, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we just lose this war. Uh, I, was, I will assume. Why do they have a low morale? Well, I think it's because... A lot of them are dying. <laughs> that might be the issue. Can you get more conscripts in? We can try that. Well, they're losing way many more people than we are, so... Maybe they are gonna keep pushing and at one point we can... Uh, we can start taking, uh, taking over. They shouldn't be able to enforce on us anytime soon. 13k to 5k. I mean, their offense is 14. Like, I don't know. This is a bit, uh, a bit unfortunate, I would say. Okay, they're not pushing anymore. I just want to get a bit more conscripts and uh, start pushing uh, back myself. A donation of knowledge, where is this? In Haiti. You know, we don't have exactly the most pops here, but um, it should be ha fine having some uh, some universities build up. I would like to build them somewhere where we have more pops, but since this will be the industrial area, maybe I should just um, do, it, uh, do it there. It will make more sense. Mm, 
Okay, they need one more push, which we eventually managed to push down. We're gonna put this guy on uh, village now. We should advance. They are kind of running out of manpower, so... Yeah, we, we can easily push through them. And our uh, great autonomous queue is starting to build up some... Uh, some worthy uh, buildings. I know we lost a lot of people, so that's why we're getting a lot of income. But I will also like to start building some construction sector. Let's start with uh, with two. I would like to get some uh, some stuff going here in Benin. We have really low turmoil, so that should be it. it should be doable. All right, we managed to. Uh, Unlock the railways, which will allow us to uh, cancel this port. I think we have plenty of convoys. We'll uh, keep it that way. We don't necessarily have an issue with the infrastructure right now. We have more of an issue with the income and ability to spam out some construction sectors. Um, but we're gonna... Actually, I'm not gonna immediately queue up any any of uh, railways. We'll keep it going this way. Maybe in, uh, maybe in Benin eventually when we run out of infrastructure. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna um, end this war. We're gonna get some war reps as well, which might... I mean, 272 pounds, uh, that's not a lot. We'll go ahead and go for water uh, tube boiler and I would like to get some canneries as well since we have access to, uh, to the sea. Uh, incorporate. I would like to build as many fisheries as possible and create as many jobs for my, uh, for my nation as possible. The best part about getting all these small states is that I'm integrating their army as well and eventually I'm gonna have a big enough army to go after Sokoto myself without the help of the Brits. Since we, we got this territory, we could also go ahead and start uh, colonizing a bit more territory. We could also go for this. I'm not sure about the Windward Coast, but why not? France, the, France, the French are actually quite behind with their colonization. So we can go ahead and uh, take over. This is not good. I can't manage to pass this one. Maybe we go ahead and give it uh, another try. Yeah, maybe this time. Maybe maybe we're lucky this time. A 9% chance. I'm sure it will work. Alright, since the price of iron in Benin is quite high. Uh, I would like to make it more uh, profitable for my construction sets so I can build more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just queue up a bunch of stuff in Benin. Uh, this will delay our production in uh, in the capital, but I need to make this work as soon as possible. Apparently, Mexico is getting a bit hammered uh, here. I'm wondering what they will lose in this one. Everything. They will literally lose everything. Even a treaty port. Uh, not looking good, Mexico, but uh, we'll keep an eye on you. I'm gonna go ahead and start improving with the French too, since uh, they are cooperative now, they don't hate us as much as they used to. Right guys, for the third time, my uh, citizenship uh, attempt uh, has failed, we can't, <laughs> we, ca we can't try anything else. So, we're gonna go for some schools until, uh, until cultural exclusion gets uh, enabled as an option again. We can go ahead and update our uh, our production methods for a lot of uh, the current stuff we we own. Um, we have a, a lot of new territories we need to update this for. Yeah, apparently the most needed resources in uh, the current British market are iron and wood. So basically what I'm trying to do right now is just increase the amount of resources I'm producing in Benin since we have the uh, best population here. 
and I want to expand the iron mines, the logging camps and maybe some coal mines as well in order to, to have this as efficient as possible. Uh, currently the price for uh, for stuff is uh, quite high and we managed to pass religious schools finally I'm gonna go ahead and try to go for uh, cultural exclusion uh, fourth time is the lucky one right it's the charming one and the catholic church also likes us since we pass uh, pass the load that uh, they uh, desired Right guys, after basically editing for about two hours uh, I realized that the footage is a bit too much so i'm gonna have to make multiple series uh i know the channel is relatively new but let's say if this video gets 100 likes we are gonna post uh, the second part as soon as uh, we hit the target uh thanks for watching and see you guys around